Hey team, welcome back to episode 7. Sorry it's been a while, I've been away on Seahawk for a couple weeks on a trip out to Great Barrier. I thought I'd edit while I was away, but I was too busy having fun. So stay up to date with where I'm at, follow me on Instagram. Anyway, in this episode, I set off on my first single-handed sail ever. It's a 40 nautical mile sail from West Auckland to Coromandel. I have no autopilot, which means I can't really leave the helm, and trying to get the main ups was just a laugh. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you out there soon. Hey YouTube, so Mac and I are just on our way down to the boat. Uh, this is going to be our first solo sail. Um, I'm feeling kind of anxious. I get I, uh, look, anxiousness and adrenaline or excitement is like it's pretty hard to kind of differentiate sometimes. So I'm just feeling whew, inside. Um, you know, I've got a lot of gear. Marine's going to come meet me um, in a couple of days. It's only from Auckland over to Coromandel, um, so it's nothing too crazy, about five or six hours. I had to drop Oscar off to school this morning, so it's already 10 o'clock. Um, it's going to get dark about 5.36, so we really need to be there by then. Um, I guess if I get to Waiheke, if, I, if the wind's not right or it feels like I'm not going to get there in time, I'll just have to anchor up at Waiheke for the night and, and try and do the rest of the mission tomorrow. But yeah, looking, um, looking forward to it. Okay, here we are at the dock. Time to get everything down to the boat. Of the boat is in an absolute pigsty. Pilot was working properly. contemplating putting the main up. Um, I've been doing pretty well. The wind's dropped just now down to 10 knots, but we've been, what's our average? Nine knot top, 6.6 .6 knot average. That's with just the jib up. 
Uh, there's a bit of bit of a squall coming over the city at the moment. I'm just wondering what sort of wind that's going to bring with it. Old mate over there's put his mane up, and now he's going faster than me, which is the reason I want to put mine up. But I feel like that's just a recipe for disaster. Uh, so I might just hold out for a little while and see how we go. Let's try and get this mane up. Stay back. Still not up all the way, but this is most of the way up. It's fucking hard work without the motor going and nobody can control it. <sighs> what a big day. Um, Still blowing 18 to 20, a little bit over 20 sometimes, going up to 19.5, 19 to 6, 20, 20.5 now, got a full main, full jib, running beam on, and doing seven or eight knots. It's a nice day, Mackie's retired to his bed down there, having a little sleep. We need to get up past the end of Waiheke up there, this is the Tamaki Strait that we're in at the moment. To go up past the end of Waiheke, uh, go around um, Ponui Island and then straight across the bay to Coromandel. So we've got some good wind at the moment, blowing 20 to 25 knots. 
got a school coming out of Auckland. We're currently doing seven and a half. 9.3 average, I mean max. You! Uh, Mackie boy, chilling out, happy as Larry. Not allowed out of the cockpit without his life jacket on. There's a nice squall coming. I don't know what that means for me. The wind's dropped to just like 12 and a half knots at the moment. Uh, we're pretty light, we're just, that's the tip of, like the end of Waiheke. Rangi Toto in the background over there. It's got a little rock, we've got passage rock to our right there. Uh, then we've got another rock up in front of us somewhere, Sunday Rock, which we'll, we'll see just as we go around the corner. Uh, that in the distance is Pohonui Island. And then behind that, in the far, far, far distance, is our destination, is Coromandel Peninsula. So, at the moment we're looking at 6.15, which is a little bit after dark, so hopefully that wind picks up again and we get uh, another couple knots. If we can get there by quarter past five, five thirty, I should have just enough light to get the hook down and uh, hopefully take Mac to the beach for a run. See how we go. Pretty bloody nice day though. So just currently going through between uh, Ruth Passage, which is between Rotoroa Island and Ponui Island. Uh, so just yeah, a little passage. It's nice and deep, it's 12 meters deep in here. So. So we've finally just come out of the lee of that island. I feel like we're quite far away from it, but like just was sitting at 10 knots and then we finally just popped back up to 20. I don't know if you guys can see that. Awesome. So our speed's just gone from three and a half knots up to seven and a half knots and our time we were gone, it was almost seven o'clock arrival, which would have been well after dark. Now it's back down to 5.30. Woo! I think he's going back to sleep. And I am just listening to beats. And having fun sailing! Slowly coming up on the on the peninsula, Coromandel Peninsula. See it over there. It's the island we're heading to there, the low one. A nice little sunset going on behind us. The wind's picked up again. No, it's just not quite. It's, it's almost blowing dead towards where we need to go. But that's all good. Becky boy's still comfy down there. We will.
Well, don't know if we'll quite get there before dark. Not, not too much further to go. Uh, we pulled in the gym because we were sailing like almost dead downwind and it just kept on flailing. I couldn't be bothered putting up the whisker pole. Uh, I just sort of fire up the engine and motor sail. Uh, still doing six and a half knots, which is all good for now. It's got us in at six o'clock, which is only 25 minutes away. Um, 20 minutes, yeah, we'll see. Uh, there's definitely not much sun left there. This is what it's about, alright? We're about to come into some beautiful sheltered bay. This will be good. I need to pay attention there. Right, so here we are. We made it. That's the main thing. It is dark outside. Um, but yeah, we I mean it was there was a speck of light when we anchored, but not really, it was pretty hard to see. Uh Mackie's had his dinner out in the bow. He still hasn't had a piss though, which worries me. He's not used to weighing on the boat, I figure if he needs to go bad enough he'll go, I can't really. It's a little bit of a rocky shore and I'm a bit reluctant to kind of blow up the tender and try and take him to the beach, I just have to you know, have to wait till the morning. So right now I'm just going to cook up a feed, uh, I've just got my gas burner, I do have a stove under there but the gas burner seems to be a bit more efficient. I've got some leftover um, pork roast from last night. I took last night's roast pork and the potatoes and basically just cut them up with some onions, some salt and pepper, and some oil, and smash it in a pot and fried it all up until it was hot, and put some coleslaw on the side, and got a can of soda. And I cannot wait! Yum! If you guys want to see where we wake up, make sure you tune in to the next episode. You guys are really cool, like honestly, thanks so much for watching, the feedback so far has been amazing, and uh, good or bad, it's a real motivator. Remember to leave a comment, like and subscribe, and remember to follow me on Instagram to stay more up to date. We'll see you soon.